today, Marty. And you can see they're already forming up. They come down and around turn 14. Pace car has pulled off. Now they're supposed to come down at about 60 to 70 miles an hour. Stand by because the Honda Grand Prix of St. Petersburg here to start the 2011 season is green. Try four wide, we have contact and a huge crash right in the first corner of the car's upside down. Elio Castro Nevis involved. Scott Dixon is involved. The clear, twice clear, clear. Like Conway. And I cannot tell who that is. That's oh, it's Marco, Marco Andretti. Andretti. Conway's got problems. You see the right rear suspension is broken on his car. The six of Ryan Briscoe also involved. And look at Dixon. Remember, he talked about it. For the last three years, he has not been around for the finish of this race. And it looks like he may not be again. Now, the 0-2 of Oriel Serbia gets refired and back underway from Ryan Briscoe's onboard camera. Just a lot of carnage in turn one, something that drivers certainly could avoid. They're going to upright the car right now, Marco Andretti. I'm sure we'll just climb out. These cars are built so strong, as you see his dad, Michael Andretti, looking on. Knows how strong these cars are. Probably not very worried about the safety of Marco. As a driver, Marty, I can tell you, you're more aggravated about not being in the race at this point in time. There's Grandpa looking on as well, with a very concerned look. Not the first time that Marco has been on his lid. Remember Indianapolis a few years ago, got upside down there. The crowd giving Marco a hand as he climbs out. He is not happy, as you would expect in this situation. All right, let's go back and take another look at this. Well, as you can see at the start already, they're not really as cl closely lined up as they should be, but a lot of movement in the back section there as it is. Marco just gets himself in too strong. The back end starts to come around. Remember, the tires are cold. There is no temperature. The low pressures are there. You don't have the grip with the car as you would if you ended up running the car for a couple of laps. There again, look on the inside. Marco Andretti is now starting to dive down the inside. He's on the paint from the runway. There is no grip on that paint, and you can see what happens. Everybody else starts to just go around them, trying to avoid it, and it just ends up with carnage with all cars going in all different directions. Well, and it looked like Marco got some help from Elio Castroneves. Castroneves got into his rear tire and sort of pushed him over as well. I go back to Al Unser Jr. talking in the driver's meeting. He said, guys, you got to take care of each other through these first couple of corners. Obviously, didn't pick enough. Let's just ride along. Now from Will Power's perspective. Will and Dario, the only two to get through there, absolutely clean. And the reaction from Mario, not pleased. Well, you're going from 60 or 70 miles an hour on the start, and you'd be up to about 145, maybe 150 quite quickly. We talked there again about the cold tires as we see the number nine. Scott Dixon machine sponsored by Target going to come in. I'm sure they're trying to do some repair here. Does not look like any of the wheels have been hit, so his alignment should be okay. Maybe if he can just get some new wings on it and a side pod, maybe they'll continue. Scott Dixon said yesterday it is so important to get a good start to the season. It felt was one of the keys to him not winning the championship last year. Already in turn one, he's in trouble in 2011. We're going side by side. Stay with us. our first caution here at St. Petersburg as the first start to the year did not go as planned. As we watch down the left-hand side of the racetrack, the driver's right, you can see Marco pulling out and starting to make a move. The car behind him, Elio Castro Nevers, we're wondering if he just tags Marco just to send the back end of Marco's car around. Look at the contact there. Certainly didn't look like Marco was going to have enough room to get through, but I would say definitely the Marlboro, excuse me, the Penske car turned around and tagged him in the backside and just spun Marco around. Let's uh, check in with him, Jamie. Well, Marco, he walked down here and he says he's okay. Marco, you've seen it from different angles. What happened? Um, I think Elio misjudges breaking by about a football field. Um, I was, good, I had a good one going. I was going to, uh, 
I was going to have it woed up and turned, you know, inside of Briscoe, but that's what happens. You know, we, we try to start so close together. It's, it's great for the fans, but uh, it's no good for me today. Glad he's all right, guys. He's got a smile on his face, but there's a lot of upset race car drivers down here. Six cars involved in this incident. One is still out there on the lead lap. That's Oriel Serbia, but uh, Castroneves, Conway, Briscoe, Dixon, one lap down right now. And, of course, Marco 